The next test in the VNG test battery is the saccade test. In the saccade test, what we're going to do is ask the patient to follow a target which is moving randomly. That random movement can be horizontal, it can be vertical, or it can be a combination of horizontal and vertical movements. Today, we're going to do horizontal eye movements and horizontal saccades. Okay, so Tess, what we're going to do is to measure your saccade system. What's going to happen is you're going to see the target on the screen. That target's going to jump around in a horizontal fashion. What I want you to do is to look at the target and as soon as it moves, move to the next target or move to where the target is on the screen. I want you to keep your head still and only move your eyes when looking at the target. Also, please don't uh, anticipate where the target's going to come, so don't try and guess, just wait for the target to move, but when it does, move as quickly as you possibly can. Any questions before we begin? No, thank you. Fantastic. Okay, so let's start the test. So if you can look at the center dot for me, please, Tess, and here we go. Counting down from 46. So the saccade test lasts around 45 seconds, and what we need to do is to look at several different eye movements of different sizes in order to assess Tess's saccade system. On the screen, what we can see is a yellow line representing the target, and then the blue and red lines represent the left and right eyes, respectively. 20. So you're doing really well, Tess. Only 20 seconds to go. As the test continues, we can see that data is being extracted and displayed on the right-hand side of the screen. We can see latency, velocity, and accuracy, Zero. so we can start to make these interpretations whilst the test is running. Now that the test is completed, we can now see that we come into the test analysis screen. We have the latency, velocity, and accuracy of the eye movements all displayed we see a red diamond in the velocity trace. This tells us that the velocity trace on this occasion was outside of the threshold limit set within the system. Therefore, what we'd want to be doing in this case would be to repeat the test to see if that abnormality is truly an abnormality or if um, there was some error during the recording. This is an abnormal example of the saccade test. What we can see in the results is that when the patient is looking leftwards, we can see a reduction in the velocity and an increase in the latency. However, when they're looking in both directions, we can see that they're demonstrating hypermetric saccades on the left eye. This is another indication of disconjugate eye movements. So that concludes the saccade test, and we're now ready to move on to the next test within our VNG test battery.